U.S. women's national soccer team to the World Cup final. She is, without question, the hottest goalkeeper on earth. Welcome to Lopez tonight, Hope Solo. Did, did you recognize that, that music that we played? That was Katy Perry, wasn't it? Yes! I was so focused on walking down these steps in these heels. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wear heels a lot? No, I'm an athlete. I'm a soccer player. Can you tell? I can't really walk. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody's very excited that you're here. I'm so happy to be here. Yes, thank you. What did Katy Perry do for the, for the team? So, our team, we listened to the song, you know, Firework, Baby, You're a Firework. You know the song, well, right? Well, you're going to sing it. Oh, ahead. I can't sing. Go, hit I it, Michael. No, I have no music. Okay, no musical talent for me. But anyway. <laughs> so you can't walk in heels. All you I can do see. is kind of play soccer. Not kind of. You're kind badass. Of. So she found out somehow that our team listens to it in the locker room to kind of pep us up, right? And so she was so kind to send us like a motivational DVD prior to the final. Nice. And she sent this memo to us and she said, you guys... I have some advice for you. Just go out there and kick ass, sea bass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. All right, there you go. Nope. And you okay. guys did kick ass. The whole country is very proud. <laughs> so, a couple of things. You haven't been home yet. Oh, I miss my home in Seattle. Yeah, you, you've been you've been on the run ever since the game was over. It, it's been a whirlwind for sure. I've barely slept in the last three days. Yeah, I'm very happy that you came to see us. You know, I'm so happy to be on a late night talk show with a host who knows soccer. Yo! Hey, I was so inspired by you that I went and got some of those Mickey Mouse gloves that you wear. Uh -huh. when you go. Oh, I the, the big ones, yeah. I so, saw that. So, so, how many proposals for marriage have you received? Oh my goodness, I think I've received from old men, like 85 year old Wait a men. Minute. Okay. <laughs> to uh, 650, never mind. So you, got, you, so you got my Twitter. <laughs> so, and, and who else? Because, because I gotta tell you, you are driving all of the teenage boys in the United States and around the world crazy hope. As crazy. <laughs> Ten-year-old boy just asked me to his high school prom, and I didn't know what to do because I didn't want to break his heart. But obviously, I can't go to a high school prom. Right. That wouldn't look too good, right? Yeah. I'm about to be 30, you know. I, I can't believe that. I know. I know. You look amazing, and you and you're completely rebuilt. That's what people don't know. You're almost 30, but you've been rebuilt. How old is your shoulder? Oh, it feels like it's 85. <laughs> You so, just had major surgery like I nine did, months they ago. They called it kind of the Drew Brees surgery. Oh. It was potentially career ending. Um, I had to gamble whether or not I wanted to do surgery prior to the World Cup because I knew I may not make it back in time. Right. So they ended up, I mean, it was excruciating. Just the pain I went through, um, 11 anchors in the shoulder holding it together. I got through the World Cup with many of shots, a lot of medicine. Wow. Um, I think I need to take some time off right now and let the shoulder breathe. Yeah, you know what, but when when you were changing, look what I found in, in her dressing room. <laughs> she was changing her shirt. Can I borrow that, please? That one, yeah, that one you might need, you might need that one to adjust. To yes. Second, okay. Right? So, 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 but you, you still played. I think you even think that your wrist is broken. You haven't gone to the doctor yet. Uh, I, no, yeah, rumors go so fast. But yeah, um, I'm getting an MRI tomorrow. So Which wrist is it? My left wrist. And how did that happen? I, I don't know. My goalkeeper coach, Paul Rogers, he's intense. He strikes a ball probably 90 miles per hour, and he probably broke my wrist off one of his shots. Yeah. I broke my wrist doing shots one time. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> I don't 
don't remember how I did it either. <laughs> the, so so when, you, when you're standing there and the whole world is watching with penalty kicks, is it like poker? Can you, can you tell it, it, when you're looking at a player lineup how, where they're going to kick the ball? Well, I'm usually pretty good at penalty kicks, so I approached the quarterfinal game against Brazil very different than the final game against Japan. So in the quarterfinal game, I decided to read their approach, mm -hmm. and you can read the angle, whether they're going to open up their hips or not. So it's more of an educated guess. I like to think that I'm pretty good at it. Right. Um, and that's how I made the third save in the Brazil match, is I, I read her like that. How about that? So, so, yes. so in the final, I decided to take a different approach, an approach that I wanted to do my entire career had it ever gone into a shootout again. And I told myself, um, you know, after many discussions with my coach, that I was going to dive right every single time. Because as a goalkeeper, your job is to make one save, maybe two, in a shootout. And if you make one save, maybe two, your team should win. Mm -hmm. So 76% of the shots or so usually go to a goalkeeper's right. So I decided, all right, this is how I'm going to approach this game. It's very different than the Brazil game. They've already seen my tactics. So I'm going to go with it. And you could tell in the first shot of the final, I stepped to the right, and she just banged it left. So, and then their goalkeeper made three, or three great saves, and I felt like we were just trying to play catch up the entire game. Right. But it still was an amazing game. It was, but it, it was, thank and you. And there's no, listen, I know, I know that, I know that you guys didn't win, but here's, here's what's sometimes more important. You've inspired a country and you've inspired young women and kids to continue to play soccer. And with obesity and kids the way it is, these kids are out there running around with soccer balls and they're standing up and stretching, hanging your posters on their wall. All very important. <laughs> all very important to overall, to, to continue the game, which is what we want to do. Absolutely, and I have to say that the nation really was behind this American team, and I think it was just the, the fight that we showed as a team, the American fighting spirit, and it was amazing to feel the support from everybody. Yes, I mean, we love you guys. It was amazing. We're Americans. We're Americans. <laughs> now, would you ever play on a men's team? That's so funny. That's been like the million dollar question lately. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to it, let's just say that. I wouldn't nice. be opposed to it. And I think, I think I'd be able to hang. I don't think I'd be like the best goalkeeper by any means. I'm not that arrogant and that naive, but I think I'd be able to hang. I think it'd be great to see you do that. And I also think that we should be able to go that route if we're good enough, A, and B, if, if I want to do it. Right. But, no limits. No limits. So you're 5'9 without the heels. Without the heels, you're 5'9, correct? Yeah. Do you think you could dunk? A soccer ball. Like WNBA, like dunk? dunk? Who wow. thinks Hope can dunk a soccer ball? <laughs> let me show you, let me show you, and let me show everybody uh -oh. what I'm talking about, okay? Oh. Hope, when we come back, we're gonna see if Hope Solo can dunk me <laughs> in this. Against me, but first check out this Miller Lite Man Up moment, huh? Real one. I think I can do this. Lopez tonight is teaming up all.